format for doing a video, but there is a purpose for this. This video will be, it's going to be multiple videos in one video, but this is the beginning video. And I know you're not used to seeing like all of this, but there is a legit reason for it. Um, this is my new dress form. Now, homegirl has already been adjusted to my height, as per my husband. So if he's wrong, because he's wrong. Um, I will do another video about why I chose this particular dress form. So that will be done too. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to adjust this dress form for my measurements. So, that is where the form-fitting sweater came into play. This is actually one of my outfits. It is the first outfit I got from Redbird Vintage, as a matter of fact. I love it. I love the sweater. It's very Marilyn Monroe, but... Um, I tried it on and my husband told me I would not be leaving the house in it. Once I looked in the mirror, I immediately understood why he meant that. Yeah, I get it. So, yeah. The reason why I'm showing you this is so you can see that homegirl is going to need some, um, adjustments. And, um some areas. Um, my waist is bigger. So I think it, I think I got the, I got that right. Um, so I do have to add a couple of inches here and the main area that I'm going to have to add is I do have to give her a belly because homegirl ain't got no belly. She ain't got no booty either, but she definitely doesn't have a belly and I do. Um, another problem is, um, she doesn't have any of these. <laughs> and, um, that is sadly a, was it like, it's like a, a 10 inch difference, I think. And I had my mom, who worked in the sewing room, actually measure me to make sure I had that correct. Also, Things you learn. I have the worst posture on the planet. My in-laws did kind of tell me this. I just thought they were being nitpicky, but they weren't. I actually have like slouch shoulders. And in that case, I actually, I did this last night. I added a, a little bit here so you could see the slouch that's kind of caused a little bit of a hump. Um, one thing I will say about dress form is, I will go over why I picked this particular dress form, but whenever you're padding up your dress form or sizing it down or giving her the badonka dunk that you have, I don't know. But whenever that is the situation that you have, you're going to have to pad it up. And... What I am using for padding is quilting. I ordered this from Amazon. I had no idea how tiny this little package was going to be. Not even a little bit of an idea. So, I don't know. Um, I might have to go to the store and actually look at it because this is a yard. Which, it was still cheap. But, it's way cheaper than the alternatives. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pad her up. That's going to be what this little montage of videos will be about. And then once I pad her up, I will also do a cover for her. And that way you won't see any of these dials or anything like that. And you'll be able to put pins in her. The most important part of any of these dress forms is if you have dials, you adjust any portion of it, then you kind of want to have a cover for it so you can pin on it for draping. That's just how that works. Um, they do make the ones that aren't adjustable, but nine times out of ten you want an adjustable one. I'll go over that in the other video. So this is just the beginning of 
this video, you will watch me go around, pet it up, give her stuff, um, and all that fun. It's going to be a long process. So the videos will randomly be me wearing jogging pants, wearing pajamas, because I'm going to do it whenever I get a chance. It's not going to be like a one and done deal with me and me and this heifer. So, for the record, I do not wear this outfit outside of the house, and I do not like showing my figures. So everything that you see me wear will literally be like slouchy, baggy, big shirts, things like that. So I might delete this video later. It's entirely possible, but I did. I do really like this skirt. This is one of my favorite skirts and it has pockets. Although now that I, I think I need to fix that pocket. But also another thing about, you know, them, they did get my style perfectly right. Maybe if I lose a little weight and I just like harness that, then I could wear this out on the town. Cause I really do love this sweater. This is like a super cute sweater. Um, other than that, that is the beginning of this video. I will probably come back with more commentary at the end, but just to keep it short, you will just see random little videos of me just going around and measuring the dress form and maybe some Benny Hill music. I don't know. That might be copyrighted, but that will be the emotion. All right. See you guys soon. Okay, so I worked on Homegirl last night, and you're going to ask yourself, what is the deal with your terrible sewing? They're just stay stitching. I just needed it to stay together, and batting is, um, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's not easy. It's not easy to stay together. So, okay, here's the deal. I literally just wrapped it. Not gonna lie, I just wrapped it around, and I've already used all three of the batting, so there's that. Now, if you notice, the I have to add more here. I've ordered more batting because you know you had to. The waist is not. I mean, it's defined more on one side on this side. Than it is on the other side I think so I'm going to fix that because when the um, the cover goes over it the cover is gonna be made out of a really stretchy material so it's gonna like just pack this stuff in so I'm actually making it a little smidgen bigger I'm gonna say a fourth of an inch um maybe less maybe an eighth of an inch um that way when the cover goes on it then it won't look like this um these little parts right here that you see i'm actually going to sew together so they will actually form fit um including like right here to the waist and right here um i do have to add more to the hip area batting batting and um it does look odd it will look normal with the cover on it but right now I will admit my husband was like telling me that this looks like it would be the most epic shield um not shield um breastplate creation ever but he was just picking on me um also the cover We'll cover this slight problem with this particular dress form. In order to expand this area, the neck had to be expanded. Um, apparently my neck is not this size. It is smaller, but I can't get the knob to, the, I'll try it again, hold on. No, the knob will not turn back. So... She's just going to have a bigger neck than I do. Which isn't a big deal because, um, 
I'm not making turtlenecks. Also, the shoulders. <laughs> um, this is why it's very good to have a very honest husband. Sometimes. Sometimes he's too honest. But in this particular case, it was okay. Um, he got me straight with the height. It's the shoulders that we found out are totally different. And you see where my cat scratched? She bit me to make sure I was awake. And it normally wouldn't leave, like, on anybody else. It wouldn't leave marks. But on me, it leaves marks because I have just terrible skin. Um, apparently, these are more like slouch shoulders. Or curved shoulders, however you want to say it. My shoulders are not like this. My shoulders are more straight or broad-shouldered, I guess you could say, is what my husband said. Which means that I will never need shoulder pads. But it also means that this will not be easy to level out. However, we stuck an actual level, like the kind you use in woodwork, um, we're fixing a house, so we had one. Um, shoulder, uh, neck bone to my neck bone, and we got the measurements right from there. And seeing how almost everything I make will not require that big of a deal. Um, humping back. I wasn't joking. I do have, like, a slight hump. Um, also some more terrible sewing, but that is because I wanted to attach this together. And then, um... This, I kind of had to make it ghetto. And you see where I definitely ran out. I've got it pinned. Um, and some more terrible sewing. This is some Frankenstein sewing, but I knew I wanted the um, strings big enough so I could, like, just literally pop them out if I wanted to. So, that's where I'm at right now. Um, like I said, the bust i'm gonna have to um i need more padding but the bust is really 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 close it's an inch off now which is just so weird um i think this is also really close the waist measurements are actually dead on the problem is the shape of the waist. So, it's not as defined, if that makes sense. So, I'll work on that next. See you soon. Okay, so... As you can see, some progress has weirdly been made. Um... That's better. I do have to cut this off. Um... It's very weird just doing, just stuffing it. It's weird. Um, and then I had to patch this back, sew this part. Don't know if you noticed, but I did like straighten out the shoulders a little bit more. Um, the reason why this is curved is just because I'm not gonna lie, I just suck at sewing. But, um, yeah, so it is coming along. I keep having to stop. My cat keeps stopping me because she thinks I'm going to have a seizure. So it's like every time I get a little bit closer to getting done, she stops me. So I guess I'll have to pause for today and then come back. But so far, I got to straight, straighten those out, which is still awkward. Still really awkward. But yeah, so we'll see what's next. Okay, so... I cannot sew straight, but I do have her measured, and she is measured correct, so I do have to build a, um, not build, sew a cover for it, um, but it requires a serger, so I'm gonna have to go to mama's house, um, I did add a little bit more here, I know that line is not straight, but there's a legitimate justification for that. It just made them easier to separate. And my husband's like, uh, 
your boobs look bigger than that. I'm like, well, you know, there ain't but so much padding that I'm willing to do. And it is the right measurements. It's just, he says a more predominant, I don't know how to say that. But, um, so the next step is sewing the, um, cover for it. And I found like five different patterns, but they all require serger. So next step is fabric. Okay, quick video. My new friend Anna told me that what I should do is use a bra on this. And honestly, I did read that before and I was just like, I don't wanna. Um, turns out that was a fantastic idea because Oh my god. What I did was the reason why my husband was saying that this does not look right is because this is 100% not right. I just assumed that I had a lot of back fat. That is just what I thought. That's actually, I do have back fat. But <laughs> what I did <laughs> was I put that much back fat on. I put a lot. So, yeah, it's flying. Um, the bra wouldn't go on. Like, it was, like, needed four more inches. And I was like, what the balls? And so now I have to take it apart. And redo this with the bra. Because, <laughs> um, apparently I just made her have, like, baby head back. Like, here at the top. <laughs> Instead of having the chest at the front. So, my husband was right. I was wrong making sure I record that while he is not here so we're starting over guys we're starting over okay so as you can see the dress form has taken a large turn meaning um, you notice all of the stitching looks totally different it actually looks cleaner be proud of me I'm learning um I followed Anna's directions. Thank you, Anna. I was wrong. Um, although I will say it is very weird to stuff your own bra. I don't know why it's weird. It just is, it's just weird. Um, it, it's just weird. So, got my husband back in here. Made sure everything was proportionate. Um, now, this fluff, it does look like a good bit of fluff. But when you put the stretchy material over it, which this will be my stretchy material. It is supposed to push it in and fit it. So, that's why it... It doesn't show as much definition on the sides as it should. Um, with this, I've had a ton of problems. Shining example. The pattern I used didn't work. So I have sewn it like four times. And then I ended up just cutting a hole in it. My mom is making me one. Um, for the purposes of this, I will show you what this looks like on, but I'm just letting you know it does not look right. Because it's not fitting properly. I need it to fit tighter. But I wanted to show you what it looks like without that padding um, cover thing. Um, as you can see, the curve in my spine is correct. That's filled up. Um, I'm, I'm more impressed with my stitch work. Because these are just plain day stitching. And I've gotten so much better. Um, I added more to the hip. And like I said, all this is supposed to kind of like go in. Um... This obviously isn't, and that was part of the problem was, um, how do I put this? The padding is supposed to go in here. Like, it's supposed to fit 
more on the form. But here, it's not because th these are these are bigger. So once I got that straight, I was set. So we're we'll cover her up, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now, for the record, I cut a hole at the neck because um, I got real frustrated with the patterns. And I was like, forget it. I'm just going to cut a hole in the neck, and that's how you're going to have a neck. Um, which is why my mother is making one that will actually look right or <laughs> look like it's supposed to. Because I am not going to lie, I am scared to use a serger. When you're a new sewist, a serger is just a machine of needles. But you see where it's not going in? See, it's supposed to go in like that. But for the purposes right now, this is totally fine. Because I like my clothes to fit kind of slouchy anyway. So this actually will work for me perfectly fine right now. Eventually I have to get one that fits a little bit more like this, but right now this is perfect because these are normally my concern with um, pattern making because most patterns do not go up to this. So that's it. That's my dress form. My dress form is for all intents and purposes complete and I'm pretty proud of her and if anyone has been keeping up with the name and process of this dress form her name is Weeza from Steel Magnolias because I feel like she's got that sass and that is why she has that name so once I get the new cover I'll probably just take a picture of that and show it in the group or on Instagram or whatever. But other than that, that is what my dress form looks like. You guys have a good day.